Welcome back from the break. About 20 kilometers from Kiongo Wajugona is Martha Wangeshi. Martha is one of the very few coffee farmers left in this particular area within a 30 kilometers radius. While many coffee farmers cut their bushes and burnt their farms to a crisp due to the low coffee prices, Martha stayed on. Kahawa nina nina ipenda sana sana na wakati niliyoleka hapa nilikuta kuna kahawa nikaipenda sana so mpaka leo ndio naendelea kukurima na as you can see nimeibadilisha from SL to Rodeo 11 Similar to Kiongo's case mother's farm faced similar challenges Nilikuwa nikilima kahawa kwa muda mrefu but si kuona matokeo mazuri but since nili anza ku apply my co apply Adam me nimeona matokeo because i just apply in the month of august na nimeona production is very good kahawa inaka vizuri sana when they came to my place nika wakaniambia venye inaenda nikafikiria kuanza na nikaanza nikaweka sehemu moja na sehemu nyingine si kuweka so i can see the difference she came across Waweru Muhinja, who introduced her to the concept of mycorrhizal. Waweru is a coffee expert on all things coffee. Kitu cha kwanza tunaangalia hapa, you see, kwa wakulima wakahawa tunaita dieback. Eh? Dieback ni jinsi muzazi wakike pale akiwa na mtoto, akikosa chakula, kitu cha kwanza anafanya mwenyewe, anajinyima, na vile anafanya ni kwamba mwenyewe akijinyima, anajaribu kupea chakula, mtoto wake. So unapata kwamba kama chakula sio uh, cha kutosha, what happens ni kwamba yenyewe inaanza kuua matawi sababu hakuna chakula. Lakini kitu cha kwanza mkulima ataweza kuangalia ni kwamba ukiangalia hii mumea ambao uko karibu na mimi, matawi yote huwa inaanguka chini. Inaanza kuji sacrifice kwa kuangusha matawi. Na kwa kahawa tunasema kahawa ni bush. Yaani ni mumea unafaa kuwa na matawi mengi, mumea ambao unafaa kuwa na branches mingi sababu yale matawi yakiwa mengi ndio inaweza kutayarisha chakula kingi kusaidia hizi begu zinakuwa begu kubwa na zinaweza kuwa chakula uh, kahawa ambayo imetosha na yenyewe ni kubwa na ndio inakupatia grade mzuri. Grade inatokana wapi? Inatokana kwanza ni chakula kingi unapata kwamba begu pia zina uzito. Hiyo uzito ndio inakusaidia ina pale wakati naenda kugradiwa na maji begu yako inaenda pande ya chini yale wakulima ambao wanaita AA. Lakini kama tunduko na uh, mimea ya aina hii ambayo haina matawi Hiyo ni kusema kwamba ile kahawa yote utavuna hapa itakuwa lights. Lights ni zile zote unaona zinaenda na maji upande ule mwingine. What you will do is utapata kwamba hiyo maua yako yote itaanguka chini sababu boron ndio inafanya maua yako inajishikilia vizuri kwa kwa kahawa na haitaanguka. So ukiwa na hizo vitu zote mbili na chakula chako kimechukuliwa kule chini na micro apply edo prime ndio unapata kwamba kahawa yako itakuwa na matawi kubwa na italisha hizo begu zote. Kwa hivyo ukikosa micro apply ukue na maua na ukue na hizo begu zote hapa ukikosa chakula cha kutosha kulisha hiyo kahawa. Kitu cha kwanza itafanyika ni nini? Matawi yote itaanza kuanguka ndio kujaribu kulisha ile chakula imebaki kulisha hizo begu. Lakini kitu gani itafanyika? Matawi kishaanguka sababu pia hakuna chakula, hakuna maji tutaanza ku, ku experience sasa hii dive back. To test whether this works or not, we conducted a little test. On one side of the coffee farm, we treated with mycorrhizal and the other we let it grow without. For the part with mycorrhizal, Boweru led us in creating a liquid concussion that would be used as fertilizer. Ukichukua hii uh, sacheti ya uh, one gram, tutayeka kwa lita msini, lakini sababu nataka tu apply kwa hii, kuna hili tumeeka hapa, ya kuweza tu ku apply kwa mimea kadhaa na ndio naona ninatumia maji kidogo kuliko vile na kuelezea. Tuiweke kwa container yangu pale. Lazima tuiweke tuhakikisha tumeiweka ndani kidogo. Alafu tuhakikishe kwamba kila kitu tumeiacha imeweza kuchanganya kwa maji. Kisha tutachukua maji safi kidogo tuhakikishe kwamba tunaweza kuiosha kwa karatasi vizuri tuhakikishe hakuna kinachobaki hapa kwa karatasi 
tumesema kwamba hizi ni begu na ni kidogo uh, kwa hivyo tuhakikisha kwamba kila powder inabaki hapa tumeyosha vizuri alafu ndio tunaichanganya pale tukishamaliza kufanya hivyo itachukua kijiti hapa kidogo tuweze kukoroga yote vizuri ukiangalia maji yangu ime rangi yake imebadilika kidogo ndio hiyo ukishachukua container yangu hapa ni hafa lita hii hafa lita ndio tutatumia kwa kila kwa kila mumea tutaweka tutafanya namna gani tutachukua jembe hapa tuhakikishe kwamba ile kitu tunakuja kufanya sio ati tunachimbia sana lakini tunataka sababu ya mchanga ikiwa mingi itachukua muda mrefu kabla ifikie mizizi kwa hivyo ndio ndo tunafungua kidogo kidogo tu tuhakikishe kwamba tunafikia tunafikia mizizi kidogo hapa kidogo tu tu mizizi tu na mizizi inaonekana kidogo maliza kufungua hivyo tunachukua ile half a liter container yetu tunaijaza vizuri alafu tunafanya namna gani tunakuja hapa tumechimbia kahawa yetu hapa kuna mizizi ndio tutakuja kwa apply tuhakikisha kwamba kahawa yetu yote ama mmea wetu wote umeweza kushika hiyo half a liter zuri hivyo ndio hiyo hafa lita tumeweza ku apply kwa hiyo mumea wetu tukishamaliza kufanyia hivyo tutachukua tena jem hii mchanga yote tuhakikishe kwamba tumerudi hiyo mchanga yote sababu mbili ambazo tumelezea ni sababu ya kwanza ni kwamba wakati kuna jua sana ama jua ni kali utapata kwamba hiyo maji ni kidogo sana utapata kwamba hiyo maji yote ime imeenda na jua ya pili ni kwamba labda kunaweza kuwa na mvua kubwa alafu hiyo maji itakuja imeoshwa yote hiyo ndio sababu mbili ambazo tunafanya tunarudisha hiyo mchanga it looks pretty small right well this was one of the concerns we had during the experiment which is whether or not 500 milliliters would be enough for a coffee tree which waweru addressed eloquently uh okay apply uh, zaidi ya uh, nusu liter itakusaidia lakini tunasema hivi nusu liter imetosha unaona so tunasema tujaribu kupunguza bei ya kulima ndio upate hata ukipata kidogo inakusaidia sababu hujatumia pesa mingi kulima kahawa After three months, the result was visible and clear to each and every one of us. Hii ni mfano wa ambao wa mume ambao tuliapply Michael Apply Edo Prime tarehe 13 mwezi wa 8 mwaka wa uh, uh, 2019. Ukiangalia kwa mume wote hatuwezi pata dieback sababu kuna maji ya kutosha na kuna chakula cha kutosha. Ukiangazia shamba lote la mkulima huu ambao tuliapply utakwamba utapata kwamba kahawa yote yake hakuna ma, 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 maua ileza kuanguka sababu kuna boron ileza kuchukuliwa kuna zinc vidoda zikaweza kupona ndio unapata kwamba kahawa iko kuanzia uh, branch mwanzo hadi mwisho ukiweza kuangalia ni kwamba micro apply hautachukua muda mrefu ndio kuweza kuona uh, mabadiliko kwa kahawa yako sababu kisha apply pale chini itachukua muda wa siku 30 ama mwezi moja kupata kwamba kahawa yako yote imeweza kubadilika Tuangalie kwa begu. Ukiangalia size ya begu utapata kwamba hii begu ni kubwa kutosha. Sasa ile kitu inafanyika kwa wakati huu ni kulisha tu begu yenyewe itakuwa na uzito na itakuwa ya grade mzuri. Ukiangalia uh, mumea wenyewe uta, uta, kuna uwazi kwamba utaangalia uone mumea yenyewe inaanza kurudi kama inakuwa changa kiasi. 
haina ile uzee sababu micro apply ikilisha ikiweza kuchukua zile madini zote na chakula chote kiko kwa kwa, kwa mchanga mumea wako wenyewe kila wakati unarudi uchanga na ndio unapata kahawa ndio unapata tukifanya sasa ile tunafanya pruning huwa tunasema tubadilishe zile branches tubaki ile uchanga kwa hivyo kahawa wakati inarudi uchanga ndio inaweza kupatia ma, mazao mengi what a difference this is the same kind of difference that Martha witnessed with her very own eyes through encouragement by her community of Awik and the results from the mycorrhizal Martha decided to venture into organic coffee farming which is a feat many small and large scale farmers in the region have shunned away due to the changing climatic conditions in the region when i joined Awik that is when i realized I have the right to say the price, to place my price. Kitambo si kujua ati kama mtu anaweza sema hii price ndiyo ni kusa kahawa yangu. So, tunajaribu kusaidia kina mama wa join AWIC kwa sababu iyo ni body international. It is an international body na inasaidia na mama because it, uh, that is why it's called Alliance of Women in Coffee. Hata ukienda organic, like kuna place nilikuwa na peleka kahawa abika naitwa kwa kahawa bora sasa uh, when i went there nikaambiwa hii hii inauswa hii haiwi the same as this one nikataka kujua why because this is organic inatumia any chemicals na hii itachukua na somebody else na hii yenu inauswa tu wholesale good soil is the foundation of successful crop production in environments where primary productivity is low, the exposed soil leads to losses in soil organic matter and biodiversity, increased compassion, and greater erosion rates. Crops growing in these soils are less resilient and climate change affects them at a much grander scale than other crops. Climate change is here and now. It is up to you and me to adapt and mitigate the risks that come with it. Thank you for watching Climate Smart Agriculture. Keep tuning in to KTN Farmers TV.